welcome to part two of an overview of the CQG DOM Trader Preferences. Now we'll move on to the Notifications Preferences. Select Notifications to configure confirmations, pop-ups, and audio alerts. Decide here if you want to require a confirmation dialog window to open if you place new orders, cancel or modify working or parked orders, as well as if you cancel multiple orders. In addition, you can require a confirmation before liquidating or reversing a position. Pop-ups are used to advise you when an order is filled or partially filled. Also, you can be notified by pop-ups when the exchange has not acknowledged your order or if a market order has not been filled. Select the checkboxes to highlight, blink, or both highlight and blink the DOM trader when an order is filled or partially filled. A highlight is an uninterrupted color change to the display, which lasts a few seconds. If you choose both blink and highlight, then the blink is followed by the highlight. You can use audio alerts for order-related events, such as an order is filled, rejected, acknowledged, placed, or a spread strategy is incomplete. Numerous sound wave files are included with CQG. Select one from the drop-down menu. You may also select a wave file from another source by clicking Browse in the drop-down menu. You can be alerted if there is a potential cross-trade, if the connection to the CQG gateway is broken, or if you have working orders and are about to log off of CQG. The next preference is the risk preferences. Risk settings allow you to set maximum order size and maximum position size, as well as the values for quantity buttons. Before setting preferences, choose whether the settings will apply to all accounts or to a particular account using the drop-down. Also choose whether the settings will apply to all symbols or a particular symbol. Set the maximum order and position sizes. These two settings cannot exceed the risk settings established by your FCM. The symbol must be highlighted if you are setting preferences for that symbol. The default setting will not overwrite settings you select for a specific account or instruments. To add a symbol to the tradable symbols list, first click the Add Symbol button and enter the symbol or select one from the list in the Add Tradable Instruments window. Then click OK. To remove a symbol from the tradable instruments list, first click a symbol to select it, then click the delete symbol button. The symbol is removed from the tradable instruments list. In this area, you enter in the order quantities for the selected symbol that is displayed on the order quantity buttons on the DOM trader. Here, you set how many digits are highlighted in the price ladder. The next preference is the Limits and Stops settings. Limit and Stop settings allow you to define limit order types. Stop, Stop Limit, DOM Triggered Stop, and DOM Triggered Stop Limit values. Before setting preferences, choose whether the settings will apply to all accounts or to a particular account using the drop-down. Also, choose whether the settings will apply to all symbols or a particular symbol. This setting determines the distance in ticks from the current best bid and best ask prices in which the system should place a limit order versus a stop order. You can choose from this menu to place stop, DOM triggered stop, Stop Limit, DOM Triggered Stop Limit, 
trailing stop, DOM triggered trailing stop, trailing stop limit, DOM triggered trailing stop limit orders. Enter here how many ticks to offset the limit order when a stop limit is executed. This concludes part two of an overview of the CQG DOM trader preferences. Thank you.